Another six days work is done. I'm not sure what number it is in your book. But in the um, crisis, so yeah. it's number 430. She said about Anthony, but about Anthony, not on. Uh, yeah, he was just there. Okay. I will pray. I'll pray. Let me pray. I'll pray. Yeah, he probably, he probably dropped off. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we ask you for your guidance, your instruction, your direction. Be with this evening's pre um, a presentation. Let your name be glorified and honored, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Go ahead. Oh. Another six days work is done. Another Sabbath is begun. Be doing my soul in joy that will sing through the day that God has blessed. Come bless the Lord who love us and so sweet a rest to weary man. A blessed and he passes him on this day of morning all the time. Oh, that our thoughts and thanks we rise and sweet feelings unto the sky. And draw from Christ the sweet repose, which none but he who feels it knows. This heavenly calm within the breast is the best bed of glorious rest, which for the church of God remains the end of cares, the end of pain. Amen. It's done. How sweet. Hmm. How sweet upon the sacred day, you know that? How sweet that. But this, this is in the um, Christ and song. This is um, number next day. Yeah, I see it next day, but I, I never, I don't know about you. Go ahead, you go ahead. I'll, I'll learn on this song. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. How sweet upon the sacred day. The best of all the same to cast our earthly thoughts away and think of God and Him. How sweet the word of peace to hear from Him to the skin to where the penitent altars. And lead the way to heaven. And if to make us sins depart, in vain the will of struggle, he who regards the inmost heart will send his praise from heaven. Amen. Right. That's it. You have another one? You know, um, die holy Sabbath, Lord. Die holy huh? Sabbath. You know, die holy Sabbath, Lord. Yep. Where we have it? Die holy Sabbath. Where, where, where have it? What number? That's, that's 417 in the old. 417. I don't have it here, but let me see if I find it in the other box. I'll go ahead then. But Lord, mm -hmm. thy people hail with joy. And while we wait to hear thy word, let's mm -hmm. praise our hearts and floor. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet to thine exalted throne. When Sabbath shall end, and from the gods we move, 
May we enjoy a holy rest and keep the sacred earth. Oh, may thy saints be blessed, our sisters, while we pray. May we enjoy a holy rest and keep the sacred earth. Amen. <laughs> I sing that one by heart. <laughs> uh, what's next? Uh, um, three nine zero then. Three nine zero in you. You love thy Sabbath, Lord. We love thy sacred Lord and worship at thy will. O oh, may this house with peace the fort and deeper faith in Thy angel sang for joy, creation's work to see. We to this day would raise our hearts in grateful praise to thee. Praise for thy wondrous love that sees the sacred day. A sign that all may understand, we owe thy sovereign sweet. O great creator, King, through thy redeeming grace, renew and sanctify our hearts that we may see thy face. And with thy white room drawn upon Mount Zion tree, and joyful sing our Sabbath song to all eternity. Amen. Amen. Let's go down the Sabbath, 393. Lord of the Sabbath and its life, I hear thy hallow day of rest. It is my very soul's delight, the solace of thy care one breath, the solace of my care one breath. O sacred day of peace and joy, thy hours are ever near to me. Now may a sinful thought destroy the holy calm I find in thee. The holy calm I find in thee. How sweetly now they guide alone. How hallowed is the calm day. Transported in the rapture song, and heavenly vision seems revealed, and heavenly vision seems revealed. O oh, Jesus, let me ever hear thy presence with the day of rest. Then will thy servant never fail to deem thy Sabbath doubly blessed. To deem thy Sabbath doubly blessed. Amen. The other six five four in the old six five four. Where's the song? Holy day, Jehovah's rest. Uh, oh. 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 
Ah, uh, 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 uh. I didn't get it in mind. Oh, that's it. I'm not welcome. No. Okay. And I'm getting it as that. The only time to miss it. Only the Jehovah's Rest of creation week today. Yeah, and I'm getting it in this book. Oh, I was looking, looking for that song actually, you know. I didn't find it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I can sing the first one, I can't remember the way. Holy day, Jehovah's rest. All creation we the best, best of all the chosen son, best of all to man was him. Welcome, 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 glad we his presence was. This the great Jehovah's rest. Verse six, this work was done. Then the Sabbath was begun. Thus he blessed the seven days. Thus in rest and we obey. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, glad we hear this presence bless, this the great Jehovah's rest. Have his plan reversed, resting now upon the first. Search the book and you shall know there's no scripture tells them so. Welcome, 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 welcome. Glad we hear this presence there. This the great Jehovah's word. All who speak the truth must say, it was man who changed the day. In God's word, no change appears through the whole six thousand years. Welcome, 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 welcome. Glad we hear this presence bless. Tis the great Jehovah's rest. Amen. Uh, one more, one more. <laughs> uh, I stood and when I saw only one great Sabbath law, then I hastened to obey. Then it was the only way. Welcome, 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 welcome. Glad we hear this presence bless. This the great Jehovah's rest. Amen. Amen. Anybody ever hear people like us to sing? Speak of the rams. We speak of the rams for thirty four. Four thirty four. That's Clemson. Four thirty four. Um. We speak of the realms of the past, that country so bright and so fair, and all oh, this glory confess, but what must it be to be there? 
We speak of his part we have come. Is all that with you will so rare. It wonders and pleasure and talk. But what must it be to be there? We speak of its freedom from sin, from sorrow, temptation, and care, from trials without and within. But what must it be to be there? We speak of its service of love, of the hope is the glorified bear, of the church of the firstborn above. But what must it be to be there? Uh -oh. Morning is all at an end. When raised by the life giving word, we see the new city descend. Adorners are bright for our Lord. The city so holy and clean, no sorrow can breathe in the air, no gloom of affliction or sin. No shadow of evil is there. Do thou my temptation and war? Uh, uh, thy heaven spirit prepare, and shortly I also shall know and feel what it is to be there. Then all the bright fields we shall roam. In glory celestial and fair, with saints and with angels at home, and Jesus himself will be there. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Anyone have a song? Have a song? Four, four, two. Good evening, everybody. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Same to you. Good evening, brother. Hi, child. Good evening, brethren. Happy Sabbath. Good afternoon. Same to all. How sweet are the tidings that greet the pilgrim here as we wander in exile from home. Soon, soon will our Savior in glory appear, and soon will the kingdom come. Oh, he is coming, coming, coming soon, I know. He's coming back to this earth again. And the way we pilgrim, well, to glory go when the Savior comes to reign. The mercy of grace where the pilgrim see shall be wider than as before. And the millions that sleep in the mighty deep shall live on this earth once more. He is coming, coming, coming soon, I know. Coming back to this earth again. And the way we him will to glory go when the Savior comes to reign. There we Meet near to part in that happy Eden home, singing songs of redemption. We'll sing from the north, from the south, all the ransom shall shout and worship the heavenly king. He is coming, coming, coming soon, I know. Coming back to this earth again, and the weary pilgrim will to glory go when the Savior comes to reign. 
Hallelujah again, hallelujah again. Soon and faithful we all shall be there. Oh, be watchful, be hopeful, be joyful till then. And the crown of bright glory will wear. Cause he is coming, coming, coming soon I know. He's coming back to the skirt again. And the way we pilgrim will to glory go when the Savior comes to reign. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. Oh. Yes, I'm there, Sister Don. I'm there. Oh, you go ahead. Okay, welcome, one and all. Welcome, uh, Brother Elijah. Thank you for uh, uh, making it this evening. Um, I guess the Brethren is going to do a question question and answer. So I, I don't know who have answers. I think Sister, what's the name? The Sister this morning. Yeah, we want to continue this morning with what we were dealing with, with the 24 elders. Is Sister Daphne there? Not us yet. <clears throat> well, was there any more other questions besides what Sister Daphne was asking about? Can I ask a question? Yes, go ahead. Okay, um, when did the um, minister's name change? When we changed from elders to ministers, pastors? Okay, go over there. Go over there to Leviticus, the fourth chapter. I want you to notice something that, now when I was at Oakwood back in the 70s and 80s, we called all the ministers elders. You remember Elder C.D. Brooks? Huh? Yes, sir. You remember Elder E. e. Cleveland? No, I, I remember. I hear about him. Okay, then you remember uh, Elder George Vanderman? He did It Is Written. I, I remember that was back when I was growing up in the 70s. And then there was Elder H.S.M. Richards Jr., right? Yeah. So he was on uh, then Faith for the Day. So most of the minister, evidently the ministers were called elders. Uh, and uh, I don't really know when the change came about because it's something that I hadn't really understood until I began to uh, uh, deal with this issue of whether or not women should be ordained as pastors or whether or not women should be ordained as elders, okay? Do you know the difference between a pastor and an elder? Um, um, um a past, uh, el 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 elders, um, someone, um, no, I don't really know the difference. Let me be honest. Thank you. I had never thought that there was a difference. Now, to understand the difference between the term pastor and the term elder, turn over in your Bible to Leviticus, the fourth chapter. <clears throat> yeah. Now notice in Leviticus, the fourth chapter, <clears throat> when Jesus came to this earth, he started off his life just as a common worshiper, right? Yes, he was sir. just a he was a common Israelite, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, now that go to Leviticus 4, verse 27 and 28. You're gonna read about Leviticus 4, 27 and 28. This is one of the positions in the household of faith. Leviticus 4, verse 27 and 28. And if any one, if any one of the common people sin through ignorance, 
while he does somewhat again any of the commandments of the Lord concerning things which ought not to be done and be guilty. And if, if his sin, which he had sin come to his knowledge, then he shall bring his offering of a kid, a kid of the goat of a female without blemish for his sin, which he had sinned. And this was something, as I was reading this, this is something else I was shocked. At. What type of animal was the common worshiper to bring? A female goat. Yeah. For some reason, I don't know where I got it from, where I was taught. I always thought that all of the sacrificial animals had to be what? Male. Male. But it says the common worshipers was to bring a what kind of animal? Female. I didn't even know that a female animal represented Christ, okay? <laughs> and that's how, that's how messed up my mind was because I had never really looked at the sacrificial services or anything like that, you know, because we, I was taught, you know, they ain't got nothing to do with it. They're not salvific or anything like that. So basically, yeah. I know we're not supposed to be offering up sacrifices, but <clears throat> the common worshiper was to bring a female animal. Now, Jesus started, spent most of his life on this earth just as a common what? Man. A common worshiper. And in fact, in the judgment, all common worshipers are going to be judged by his standard as a common what? Worshiper. Thank you. Now, notice the next thing he did. The first day of the week, go to Leviticus uh, 4, verse 22 and 23. Then a ruler had sinned and done some what through ignorance against any of the commandments of the Lord, his God, concerning things which should not be done and uh -huh. is guilty. Yeah, go ahead. This, this sin, you put it in there. And he had sin come to his knowledge. He sh shall bring his offering, a kid of the goat, a male without blemish. Okay, so notice the rule was to bring what kind of animal? A kid of uh, uh, a male one, a male goat. Right, so you could. So you could actually stand there and watch someone going to the going to the going to the temple or to the sanctuary, and you could actually tell what they were in the congregation. So if you saw someone take a male goat, you know that that person was a what? Ruler. Ruler. Okay. Now now notice. Go to the next one, 13. So that's two positions, right? Yeah. See, you and I were taught that, that in the church, there's only how many positions? One, two, three, or four. How many positions do you have? Groups of people. You have the, no, you have the clergy and the laity, right? Yeah. Either you're the, in the clergy or you're either laity, correct? Yes, sir. But according to the Bible, that's not correct because you just got the reading about the ruler. Then you got reading about the common worshiper. Now, now listen at the next one. Go to uh, Leviticus 4, 13, 14, 15, 16. Look at what it says there. 13. 13, 14, 15, 16. And if the whole congregation 
of Israel's sin through ignorance and the things be hid from the eyes of the assembly and they have done somewhat against any of the commandments of the Lord concerning things which should be done and are guilty. When the sin which they had sinned against, it is known, the congregation shall offer a young bullock for the sin and bring, bring him before the tabernacle of the congregation. And the elder of the congregation shall lay their hands upon the head of the bullock before the Lord, and the bullock shall be killed before the Lord. Now notice, who offers up the sin offering for the congregation? Elder. But I always thought it was the priest. I never knew this. I always thought that the priest offered up the sin offering for the congregation. Now notice, it says, the elder is responsible for offering up what for the people? An offering. For who? The congregation. For the congregation. Now notice here. So therefore, so this is the third group of people, the elders. You got the elders. Then you got the rulers. Because Saul, what was, Saul, what was Saul's position in Israel? King Saul. King. And the a king ruler. is he is a ruler, okay? Now yeah. remember, because we were dealing with this issue about whether or not women should be elders or pastors or whatever it may be. So we always base it upon uh, the genital organs, whether or not it's a male or female. But then I remember God says, with God, there is no male or what? Yeah. Male or female, okay? Now notice. Saul got the kingdom taken away from him because he did what, my sister? He um, um, didn't do what God said. He, he took the, the father calf and stuff and bring it. He offered, it up a, he offered up a sacrifice for who? To God. No, for the people. Remember, he was supposed to wait for Samuel to come and offer up the sacrifice for what? Yes. But he offered it up. And I didn't know why, because I said, well, why would God do that to Saul? Because he took away the kingdom because of what Saul did, okay? Because remember, yeah. Samuel came and he said, the kingdom is taken away from you, okay? Because, see, I had a problem there because I said, why would God do that to Saul? Because I always thought that only the Levites could offer up the what for people? Sacrifice. Sacrifice for the people. But then he, he directed my mind over there to Elijah on Mount Carmel. What was, what was Elijah? Who was Elijah? The prophet. But the prophet is, I'm talking about, where did he, was he a Levite or was he a Tishbite? Tishbite. He was a Tishbite. And I said, well, wait a minute. A Tishbite is not a Levite, okay? But if you notice, Elijah is offering up the sacrifice for the what? For the people. On Mount Carmel, Elijah offers up the sacrifice for the people, correct? Yeah. I said, but Lord, why would you let Elijah do it and not let Saul do it, okay? Evidently, what was Elijah's role in Israel? Was he a ruler? Was he a common worshiper? Or was he a priest? Which one? Or, or was he an elder? He was an elder. He was an elder. I, see, I never, I never paid any attention to elders or whatever it was, you know, until this whole issue came up. So therefore, Saul got the kingdom taken away from him and he was a male. So 
being an elder has nothing to do with male or female. There are males uh, that, that God did not ordain to be a what? An elder, okay? Because evidently Saul, when he did what he did, he, he took on the role of an elder and he was not an elder in Israel, okay? So notice the next, the next group of people that are in the congregation are part of the household of faith. Go to Leviticus 4, verse 3, 4, 5, and 6. Notice what it says there. What does Leviticus 4, 3, 4, 5, and 6 say? The priest that is anointed according to the sin of the people, then let him bring for his sin, which he had sinned, a young bullock with out blemish unto the Lord for a sin offering. And he shall bring the bullock unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation before the Lord and shall lay his hand upon the bullock head and Kill the bullock before okay. the Lord. So the priest, so Aaron would have to bring what kind of animal when he sinned? A bullock, a young bullock. All right. The congregation would have to bring what kind of animal when they sin? What kind of animal did the congregation have to bring? You had to bring a bullock. What, what kind of animal did the ruler have to bring? A kid. A goat. A what kind? Kid. A goat. A male. A male. A male. See, this is the first. A male goat. This is the first time over here you see a male goat. Okay. Now, the common worshiper would have to bring what kind of animal? Female. Okay. Now, let me ask you a question. You have four different groups in the household of faith. If you were to ask Ellen White, what group would she say she fits into? Huh? What group would Ellen White put herself in? Common people. She was a common worshiper, okay? Yeah. So therefore, she go over there to verse eight, because you asked something about the difference between a pastor and an elder. Go to Ephesians four, verse eight, nine, 10, and 11. Ephesians 4, verse 8, 9, 10, and 11, okay? Ephesians 4. Yeah, Ephesians 4, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Therefore, he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and give gifts unto men. Now, notice... Now, no, notice this was in 31 AD. He ascended up on high and he led those who resurrected with him on the first day back to the storehouse. Okay, remember we were talking about the storehouse? Yes, sir. Okay, now then it says he gave what? Captive, cap, captivity to captive. 
No, he led the captives up there, but then he gave what? What's the next Gifts. part says? Gifts. Now let's find out what these gifts that he gave to some. Okay, keep reading. Now that he ascended, what it is but that he also ascended first into the lower part of the earth. He that ascended is he is the is he is is the same also that ascended up far above all the heaven that he might fill all things and he gives some apostle some now, prophet wait a minute who and he gave who he gave who some who apostle. is the sum? Who is the sum? Common people. He gave some. The sum would be any of those four different groups. They could be a common person. They could be a elder. They could be a ruler or they could be a priest, okay? So notice, so he gave some of the household faith. Are you getting it? So he gave the gift. So to be an apostle is now and get a degree to become an apostle. Can you go to go to college and get a degree to become apostle? No. Or is it a gift? Oh, but Elijah, you, you which will, one? Huh? But Elijah, you will you, you, you what? You will come in, in and out for a little while. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Yes, yes. I didn't know if you in any way that was the service was real bad. Okay, can you hear me now? Y yes, I'm, we are hearing you better. Go okay, ahead. The question, is, the question is, can you go to get a degree from a, can you go to get a degree to become an, an apostle? Okay, better. We hear you better. Good. Okay, what's the next one? Keep reading. You some apostles. What's the next one? Some prophet. Okay, can you go and take a course in how to become an apostle, or is it a gift that God gives the individual? If God gives the individual. Okay, some. Now notice, Ellen White was a common worshiper but god gave her the gift of being a what servant prophecy no, a prophet okay so do we understand that here she was a common person but god gave her the gift of being a prophet yeah. and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers. <clears throat> so, so notice the pastor is included in the same gift as an evangelist or prophet. It is not a position in the church. It is a gift that God gives somebody to carry out or to perform. So do you understand the difference between an elder. An elder is someone that God has ordained for a position in the congregation. Now, an elder 
can have the gift of being of doing pastoral duties a common person can have the gift of being of doing carrying out pastoral functions say for instance god in the human family god created you to be a male or a female which one i'm a female <clears throat> which which what did god create you to be sister a male or a female? female all right then god can give you the gift of being a sister now after he created you a female you'd have had no decision in that then you can also be a daughter okay but you're still a what female correct yeah. then you can also become a wife should you choose to get what all right then you can also choose to become a mother okay see becoming a mother is a gift because some women cannot become what mother some women cannot become wives right and some women cannot become brothers or sisters right i mean sisters because yeah. they don't have any brothers or sisters to become a sister too yeah. so evidently the the pastoring say for instance when god sent uh ellen white to australia she carried out the duties of an evangelist. You remember when she was in Australia, God used her to evangelize and set up the school there, correct? Yes, sir. Then sometimes God used her in, in the role of a teacher, okay? So, and then sometimes God used her in the role of doing pastoral work. So a female, can do pastoral work a female can do uh the work of a teacher should god give that female or that male that gift okay yeah. but being an elder is not a gift just like being a ruler is not a gift being a common person is not a gift and being a priest is not a gift that is something that God has ordained and he sets up these people in the congregation. So do, so do you see the difference between an elder and a what? Pastor. See, today we have accepted something like a papal concept that the pastor is in charge of the church and the elders are his uh, second in command. Is that not true? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. But notice when you go over there to Leviticus, the fourth chapter, that's not how God ordained it. Say, for instance, you have Moses and Aaron. Moses. When the people got in trouble, who would pray for the people? Moses. <clears throat> who prayed for the people? Priest. The elder. Who prayed? What? When when Aaron got in trouble, who prayed for Aaron? elder and what and what was that elder's name moses. moses moses occupied the role of the elder now moses whenever the people would rebel moses would go in there and intercede with god for them 
Now, once Moses did his duties, then Aaron did his duties as the what? As the priest. Go over there to Leviticus, the fourth chapter, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Notice what it says here. Again, now you see it a little bit clearer. If you notice over there, it didn't, it didn't say, and the congregation shall bring the bullock to the pastor. It says, the congregation shall bring the bullock before the door of the tabernacle. And who kills the sin offering? Go ahead, read it, read it again, my sister. You want me to read by um... Leviticus 4? verses 13, 14, 15, 16, because you were asking the questions about the elders, okay? And about the elders and the difference between the elder and the pastors, okay? And if the whole congregation Go of ahead. Israel... You got it? Let's read it. Yeah. And if the whole congregation of Israel sin through ignorance and the things be hid from the eyes of the assembly and they have done somewhat against any of the commandments of the Lord concerning the things which should not be done and are guilty. When the sin which they had sinned against it, it is known to the congregation, shall offer a young woodlock for the sins and bring it before the tabernacle of the congregation. And the elder of the congregation shall lay their hands upon the head of the woodlock before the Lord and the bullock shall be killed before the Lord. And the priest now that is- notice that, notice after the elders kill the bullock, notice what the priest does next month, sister. And the what? The priest is an, that's an- What did it say? The priest that is anointed shall bring off the bullock blood- Do you have it? Patient. Kills the bullock, then the priest catches the what? The blood. Okay. So the elder has to do his his duties, and then the priest can do his duties, okay? Yes, so notice here. Now let's go back here to show you how important to understand the role of the elder. Notice, go back to Genesis 3. 21. Go to Genesis 3.21. And to Abraham, and to Adam also, and to his wife, did the Lord God made skin of coats of skin and clothe them. Okay, now we. this is the first time in the Bible we have reference to the death of an animal. Now, who killed this first animal, my sister? Adam. Adam. Now go over there and you just got through reading. What role, what position did he kill it in? Was he a common worshiper? Was he a ruler? Did he kill it as an elder or did he kill it as a priest that was anointed? Yeah. 
common. Notice, let's go back over and check and see whether or not you're correct. Go over there to Leviticus 4, verse 27 and 28. Let's see what the common worshiper does. And if any one of the common people sins through ignorance, while he does some word against any of the com commandments of the Lord concerning things which he ought not, not to be done and be guilty of it is sin which he had sinned come to his knowledge. Then he shall bring his offering of kid of the goat of female which without blemish for his sins which he had sinned. Now couldn't that now let's look at what you just said. You said a common worshiper. Can the common worshiper make a sacrifice for someone else besides himself? No. Now notice in Genesis 3.21, you correctly said that Adam made this first sacrifice, but notice this sacrifice covered how many people? Two persons. We have no record of a female ever offering up or killing a what? A female um, goat. We have no record of a female ever killing any kind of sacrifice. Do we have any record in the Bible of a female ever killing any type of sacrifice? No. Okay. But notice in Genesis 3.21, whatever sacrifice Adam made, it covered him and the other individual, right? Yes. So can the common person kill an offer up or sacrifice for another individual? No. Thank you. Now let's go to the next one, uh, 22 and 23. Then a ruler had sinned and done somewhat through ignorance against any of the con commandments of the Lord, his God concerning things which should not be done and is guilty of a sin wherein he had sinned. Come to his knowledge, he shall bring his offering of a kid and a goat, a male without blemish. Now, notice is the ruler off, authorized to offer up a sacrifice for another individual? No. No. That's what got Saul into trouble. Remember, Saul wanted to offer up. A sacrifice for the people. God had no problems if Saul offered up a sacrifice just for himself, okay? But he had no right to offer up a sacrifice because he was not a what, my sister? He was in a common person. No, he was, he was just a ruler. So the common person cannot offer up a sacrifice for another person. The ruler cannot offer up a sacrifice for another person. Let's go to the priest, Leviticus 4, verse 3, 4, and 5. Leviticus 4, verse 3, 4, and 5. The priest that is anointed do sin according to his sin of the people, then let him for that let him bring for him for him sin which he had sin a young bullock with all blemish unto the Lord for a sin offering. Oh so now is the priest authorized to make a sacrifice for anyone else. Yeah. Who? The 
priests can priests can bring um um the sacrifice to him and the people. Did you read that? Yes. Where did you it's, read that? Um four and three. Read what it says. If the priest that is anointed do sin according to the sin of the people, that let him bring a sin offering which he had sin, a young bullock without blemish unto the Lord for an offering. Oh, yeah. Now, now notice it didn't say he was bringing a young bullock for the people. He was bringing a young bullock for who? Himself, the priest, himself. Oh. Notice the priest is only authorized to offer a sin offering for him. What? Himself. Now go over there to... Leviticus 4, verse 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And if the whole congregation of Israel sin through ignorance and the things be held from the eyes of the assembly and they have done somewhat against any of the com commandments All right. of let me ask you a question according to the bible what is a congregation or an assembly that's the people how many people congregation is the whole congregation of the people the whole assembly how many, how many make up how many make up a congregation or an assembly Remember, two Jesus three. says, two or, three. Huh? Oh, two, or three. two or three, Adam is one and Eve is what? Two. Oh, so now notice Adam offered up a, a sin offering or a sacrifice. He couldn't offer it up as an individual. He couldn't offer it up as a ruler. He couldn't offer it up as a priest. So he had to offer up that first sacrifice as a what, my dear sister? Adam? Yes. You have four choices there. Did he offer it up as a priest that is anointed? Did he offer it up as an elder? Did he offer it up as a ruler? Did he offer it up as a common worshiper? You have to choose between these four positions that he could offer up the sacrifice. So which, which one would Adam have been when he offered up the sacrifice? Which one, my sister? Huh? Congregation. Congregation. And when he killed it, he killed it as the what? Congregation. But who killed the sacrifice congregation? He did. But in what role? That's the congregation. Now, the congregation was everybody. Did everybody kill the bullock? Or what did you just read there? Who killed the bullock? Can I answer the priest? For the congregation. Huh? The you priest. Said the, keep the reading it. I the thought elder. that too. Look what it is. The elder. Oh. Then the... When the sin which they had sinned against, it's known. Then the congregation shall offer a young bullock for the sin and bring it before the tabernacle 
of the congregation and the elder of the congregation shall lay the hand upon the head of the bullock before the Lord and the bullock shall be killed before the Lord. And the priest that is anointed shall bring of the bullock blood to the tabernacle of the congregation. So who killed the sin off? Who killed the sacrifice for the congregation? The elder. Oh. So what role did Adam kill that first sacrifice in? As an elder. Oh. Uh, now do you see the significance of the what? The elder? Wow. I never knew this. Now see the concept that the priest offers up the sin offering for the for the people is a Catholic concept because in the Catholic Church the people are taught that who is responsible for the for helping with the sin problem the, the priest, priest right yeah. that's where we got that concept from that the priest kills the sin offering or is responsible for the sin offering of the what the people go to the priest for the sin to deal with the sin problem they do not go to the elder okay elder And you know, if you go to the Baptist church, do you hear anything about the role of the elder? No. If you go to the Methodist church, do you hear anything about the role of the elder? No. If you go to the uh, Lutheran church? No, sir. In all of your Protestant churches, you hear either about the pastor, and that's where we got it from, okay? We got that title pastor coming from the fallen churches, okay? You hear the, either pastor this, pastor that, or reverend this, or reverend that. So now do you see where these things came into us? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think he must, he must have joked. But Elijah, are you there?
You're not hearing anything. Uh, he he dropped sister uh, gem, so he's gonna come back on shortly. Uh, 